Hi students, this is going to help teach you to use the do and undo process to solve a quadratic equation. So for problem one, we definitely want to isolate this squared portion right here. So I'm going to add four to both sides. That's how I undo the subtraction. I have x plus 3 squared is equal to 4. Now to undo a square, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. When I do this, the square root undoes the square, I get an x plus 3, and then this is the part we have to remember, there's actually plus or minus 2. This is because if I take 2 times 2, I get 4. If I take negative 2 times negative 2, I also get 4. 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 squared is also 4. So these are two answers. We have to undo the plus 3. I subtract 3 from both sides. Okay, so you're basically taking, let me highlight this in a different color, the positive 2 and subtracting 3. That gives you a negative 1. And then, let me get a different color here. We're going to take the negative, oops, that didn't change it. The negative and subtract 3. So negative 2 take away 3 is negative 5. And these are your two solutions. Now, the way that we check to make sure we have a solution, we plug it wherever we see an x. So if we want to show that check, let's check uh, the negative 1. We would say negative 1 plus 3 squared take away 4 has to be 0. This is my check. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 squared minus 4 has to be 0. This is 4 minus 4 equals 0, and 0 does equal 0. And you would do the same thing with the negative 5. Okay, now a level up from there is if we have to undo more things. So in this case, I would add 27 to both sides. And again, I'm trying to isolate the squared piece here. So for this, we would get 32 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 1 squared. Let's get rid of this 2. It's being multiplied. So we divide both sides by 2. 16 equals x minus 1 squared. How do we undo a square? We take the square root, just like we did before. We remember the square root of 16 is 4, but it's also negative 4 when I take the square root of both sides. And that's equal to x minus 1. I add 1 to both sides, just like we did before. Again, we're going to look here at the positive 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then we'll go ahead and look at the negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And those are your two solutions.